Hello, welcome to my channel Psychometric Solutions. Today I am going to demonstrate how to do missing data analysis in the SPSS. But before doing this, let me explain some basic terminologies and basic information about missing data. It would be useful to the users, especially the beginners. So, starting from what is missing data in statistics, the missing data occur when no data value is stored for any variable or when data has been stored incompletely. Missing data are a common occurrence and can have a significant effect on the conclusions that can be drawn from any missing data. So, what about how much missing data? As a general rule of thumb, the missing responses per variable may range from 0.4% to 10%. Such range is often considered as normal. It means that if a missing data is exceeding the 10%, then this questionnaire or this case need to be deleted. If it is within the range of 10%, then we can go for the data imputation. Well, uh, what is missing data analysis? The missing data analysis is a process of assessing the amount of missing responses in the questionnaires. Such analysis will be helpful for addressing missing values in a proper manner. What about missing completely at random. It is one of the basic assumptions and pre-requirement of a missing data analysis that the data should be uh, missing completely at random. Values in a data set are missing completely at random if the events that lead to any particular data item being missing are independent, both of the observable variable and of unobservable parameters of interest and occur entirely at random. We have a famous uh, missing completely at random little test for the missing completely at random. And uh, a data, can, if it has achieved the missing completely at random level, then it means that the p-value is larger than 0 0.05 uh, and not less than 0.05 then complete remedial action can be taken to handle the missing data. So, as I told previously that uh, data, if it is within the range of 10%, then we can go for the data imputation. So, in statistics, the data imputation is the process of replacing missing data with subtype substitutes value. Normally, uh, People use uh, and people refer the expectation maximization or EM method. The EM algorithm is an interactive method to find maximum likelihood estimates of parameters in statistical models. So now let's come to the SPSS. So we have this uh, hypothetical data. Uh, this data is about uh, nine variables v1 till v9 and it has a missing data so uh, with the help of the missing data analysis we can know that uh, how much there is a missing data either it is within the range of uh, 0 0.4 to 10% and either this data is missing completely at random once we know this then we can go for the uh, data imputation via through expected maximization method so for the missing data analysis click on the analyze and then go to the missing value analysis and here you can see these nine variables you enter it into the quantitative variable because these are not categorical variable and then go to the descriptive now if you want to know the percentage of the mismatch you can click on it if you don't need don't just click on it because for the beginner it, they may get confused so I click here on the EM and uh, here 
with the em i just leave this to the normal instead of going into the mix normal so then i click on the ok and here i have the series of tables so you are not supposed to go through each and every table especially this can be confusing for the beginner here we just want to know the percentage of the uh, missing data and we want to know whether the data is missing completely at random so i need here just two table one is this the univariate statistics and here you can see that uh, uh, from v1 to v9 the uh, percent of percentage of and the count of the missing data is given so here we can see that uh, majority of the data is uh, uh, exceeding the range of 10 percent it means that except this uh, v4 and uh, v8 the rest of the cases need to be del deleted because the range is uh, exceeding the 10 percent and here uh, you can see that uh, v1 has 10 cases uh, that are uh, having 18% uh, of uh, uh, missing data. So you can count this manually. Here this is v1 and you count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 so these are the 10 cases which have the missing data now let's come to the uh, little test uh, for completely missing completely at random so here uh, you can see that the uh, significant value is exceeding the 0 0.005 level uh, and it is insignificant and that is good it means that uh, the data is missing completely at uh, random so i close this now uh, what about the data imputation uh, as i told you that uh, the expected maximization method produced unbiased uh, uh, data imputation so majority of the researcher uh, follow this uh, data imputation technique so for the em uh, uh, imputation em imputation i click on the missing data value first analyze and then missing value analysis and here i click on the em and here this on em and then i click on the save complete data so i give a name to it like I give it the name imputed data <clears throat> and I go to continue and then I click OK. So I will get this <clears throat> table and here I have the imputed uh, uh, um, separate SPSS uh, file and here you can see there is no missing data. Uh, all of the data has been imputed by the computer. Uh, and this way you can do the data imputation and you can solve the missing data analysis. You can solve the problem of missing data via through the missing data analysis.